A surprise party might be fun, but a surprise on your cloud bill usually isn't. Thankfully, you can set up budgets and alerts using Google Cloud Platform to closely monitor your costs and work with the appropriate teams so that they can take action if needed. On this episode of Beyond Your Bill, we'll talk about setting up budgets and how you can get notified when anything unexpected happens. Setting a budget in GCP lets you trigger notifications when your costs hit, or are forecasted to hit, a specified amount. You can set up a budget for an entire billing account, or multiple budgets for different combinations of projects and GCP products so that you can stay informed on the areas that matter most to you. Let's look at the interface where you can manage your budgets, set one up, and see what the options for notifications are. We'll start by going to the Budgets and Alerts page in the GCP console. You can use the top left navigation to choose Billing, and then select the billing account. From there, click on Budgets and Alerts. Only billing account administrators are able to create or update budgets and alerts for billing account, so make sure that you have the right permissions for the billing account that you've chosen. On this page, you can see all the budgets that belong to this billing account. Each budget is made up of a few different important pieces. First, you have the name for the budget, which is helpful for you to identify what this budget is meant to track. Next is the budget type, which can either be specified amount, where you set a fixed amount to compare your monthly spend to, or last month's spend, where you target an amount based on the previous month's spend. We'll come back to those when we walk through creating a budget. After that is the scope of the budget, which is the combination of projects and GCP products that this budget covers. So, you may have a budget for your entire billing account, one for just your production projects, one for just your BigQuery spend, or multiple for any combination of those. On the other side of the budget are the actual threshold details for when the budget should send out an alert notification. Each budget can have multiple thresholds, and you can see an overview of the current status for each budget on this page. The thresholds are percentages of either the amount you entered or the last month's spend based on the type of budget. You can always come to this page to see your budgets and click on one to edit it. Let's go through and create a budget to see all the options. We'll do that by clicking on the Create Budget button at the top. The first screen is the scope of the budget, which includes the name, projects, and products covered. If you don't choose any projects or products from the dropdown, this budget will default to the entire billing account. Since you can set up as many budgets as you want, Feel free to create multiple budgets to track different groups of projects and products based on your needs. On the next screen, you can choose the type of budget. If you choose specified amount, you can choose a target amount for this budget to track towards. Depending on the cost you're trying to measure, that could be $100, $100,000, or more. If you choose last month's spend, the amount will be pre-populated with the spend from last month based on the scope you just chose, and it'll be updated every month. For example, if you choose a product that you haven't used before, or you've only used within the free tier, this amount may show up as zero. This can be a good way to get notified as soon as you start to spend money on something you didn't expect to spend it on. In addition, you can choose to include credits in the budget amount. Including credits means you'll take the total cost and then subtract any credits that were applied for that billing period. Credits may include things like usage discounts, promotions, or grants. On the next step, you'll be able to set up the actions. You can set up different thresholds based on the amount from the previous step for when the alert notification should trigger. For example, you may want to set an alert for when you've reached 50%, 90%, and 100% of your budget for the month. You can also add additional thresholds in case you want more granularity, and each threshold can be based on actual or forecasted costs. Actual cost thresholds trigger when the spend from the scope that you selected exceeds the specified amount. For example, you could set up a 50% actual cost threshold on a $1,000 budget, and you'll get an alert notification when your cost exceeds $500. Forecasted cost thresholds trigger when your cost is predicted to exceed the threshold amount by the end of the month. If you add a forecasted cost threshold for 110% on a $1,000 budget, it'll trigger an alert notification as soon as your cost for the total billing period is expected to hit $1,100, even if you're only a few days into the month. There's also an option for connecting budget to PubSub for programmatic budget notifications, which let you add more advanced cost controls to your budgets. We'll talk about that in a later video, but you can check out the link below for more information. Keep in mind that different GCP products or services update costs at different times. Most services will update costs within an hour, but some may take up to a full day to update. Each service has costs based on different metrics as well. We recommend setting multiple budgets so that you can get alerted as soon as possible and take action. Once you save your budget, you're good to go, though it may take a few hours before it kicks in. Here's an email alert that was sent out for a budget that was set to 100% for a $10 budget. 
we can see the display name of the budget, the budget amount and period, the triggering threshold, and the associated billing account ID in the email. It's also easy to get straight to the budget page in case you want to see more information or edit your budgets. Only billing account administrators and billing account users will get an email notification for a budget alert. Remember, budget alerts are sent out based on the rules you set, but they don't actually stop any usage from happening. If you want to go beyond emails and automate actions, you should consider using quotas or programmatic budget notifications, both of which we'll talk about in future videos. Check out the links below for more information about setting up budgets and alerts.